Hello friends, welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica with Rosie Research. I am so excited you are here with us today as we make some really fun hot glue LED gems. It's always fun when you can make something light up with LEDs. For this project, you need some sort of um, ice mold or silicon mold of what you want. I've got some cool Mandalorian type ones. You're gonna need a CR2032 battery. You can get these online at your grocery store. You need some LEDs either online or your hardware store. You always wanna check your LED with your battery and the way you do that is the LED has two lengths of legs. The sh short leg goes on the bottom and the long leg goes on the top. And when you put that around your battery, it should light up. If you put both the legs on top, it won't. If you put both legs on the bottom or if you flip that around, none of those things will work. So you have to have the long on the top of the battery with the writing. So always check that that works. It's always a bummer if your project doesn't work. You're gonna need a lot of hot glue sticks, lots of hot glue sticks. You could use glitter hot glue sticks if you wanted that extra thing, some colorful hot glue sticks, or you can always add glitter or confetti into it as the glue is drying. You're gonna need your glue gun, a tiny piece of tape, and then some cooking spray. And I'm gonna show you guys how we can make this. So the first thing is you'll just do a little spritz of cooking spray, and you can rub that around inside whatever mold you want to do. And what you'll do then is you're gonna take your hot glue gun and you're just gonna pour hot glue into this mold just like a first layer. You don't wanna fill it all the way up because I'm gonna show you guys how to make it so your battery is not as visible. So we're gonna just pour some hot glue in here. I'm pulling the trigger right now and just pushing the glue with my other hand. Sort of a nice way to do it. You wanna try to get into all those corners and then once, if you're hot glue gun, I have low temperature hot glue gun, so at some point I gotta reheat that glue a little better. And low temperature hot glue guns are a great option if you have little hands. All right. So now I've got sort of a bottom layer of hot glue into this mold. You can decide how deep you want your LED, but I do always add a little extra in the center just so my LED doesn't push through to the other side by accident. All right, so now I have it partway filled. I'm gonna take my LED that I know works, and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make it first do the splits, and then I'm gonna sort of make it look into a staple. So I'll bring the long leg up, and I'll bring the short leg up, all right? And I'm gonna put this into my thing. I'm gonna put mine so the short leg is at the bottom, Make sure that you write that down or so you can remember where it goes. And you're just gonna put that in there and you're gonna have to let that glue dry. It's gonna take a little bit of time, which is why we actually have one that's ready for us. So this is partially done. We've got our long and our short legs here. This is our short leg and our long leg. And this can go right back into my mold after I've done the stuff with my battery. So the short leg goes on the bottom of the battery. This is where you're gonna use your little piece of tape. All right, you're gonna take your little piece of tape and you're gonna tape that to the bottom of the battery instead of just pressing it on. And the reason why we wanna do that is to make sure, to really guarantee that you're gonna get good contact. Ooh, I have a little bit of cooking spray on my hands. Let's try again with this tape. Masking tape might be a better choice for this. We're gonna put this tape here. And we're gonna press this down. We just wanna make sure that the glue, the hot glue, doesn't get between the leg. And we can check that this works. Oop, mine's not working, hang on. Let's see if I flipped it, did I flip it over? Nope. Oh, hang on, we're gonna double check that ours works before we start. It's always really important. This guy should go on the bottom, that goes on the top. So this does work. So I think my taping's not working very well. So let's see. If we do it like this, there we go. Yep, perfect. And I want it so that I have to press it on because if I don't have it where I press it on, it's gonna be always on and that's kind of a bummer because it'll, it'll die very quickly. I am having a little bit of problem with my tape. I'm gonna take a little piece of paper maybe and try to tape that over. One other thing you could do is you could um, use some aluminum foil. 
That works really, really well. But for some reason, my tape is not very sticky today. I think because I have cooking oil all over my fingers right now. And it's not very happy. All right, we'll skip the tape. We'll make it work. So we're gonna put this guy in here, just like this. Yep, that should work. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hot glue around your battery. All right, so I'm gonna take a hot glue just around like this. And you're gonna let that sit for a moment so that it can get in. This sort of guarantees that you don't hot glue between that bottom leg. The tape will really help that too. There we go. And now as I press it, it can turn on. And sometimes it's nice you can just press it as that glue dries so that it's, you know it's on, not too far away, which is gonna be great. So the bottom should be always touching and then the top, when I press this top leg down, is when my little LED gem goes on. Now that I have it most of the way, I can put it back in here and I can fill this glue up a little bit better. So there's some spots that I missed in my mold and we can fix that and we can just go around. Now you wanna make sure you don't go over that top leg. That top leg needs to be left alone, but you can go all around it and you can glue this battery in. Just don't glue all the way over, especially where that top leg is at. This will hold the battery in for you, which is kind of nice and handy. I'm gonna go up here in the top, but I am gonna skip where that top leg is. I'm gonna be really careful as I glue this part. And it's just where that top leg is touching the battery that we need to be careful about. And this will give it some extra strength. You can see how many glue sticks you go through when you do this. I'm gonna get all of that mold as well as you can. Now I can go over the top of this battery as long as I don't go over that little part where that top piece is going. All right, that's the important part. So don't go over that long LED leg. That will break your circuit before you even get to take it out of that mold and play with it. All right, all right. So now I have this guy. This one we're gonna have to let cool also. Um, and that takes a little bit of time. But when it's all done, we can pop it out, and press on that leg, and it'll turn on just like it did for us a few minutes ago. So this is a really fun project. You can do it with all sorts of things. And then if you wanted to, you could glue something on the back. You could wear the necklace. You could wear it on a wristband. You could put a pin on it. You could pin it to yourself. Um, it's a lot of fun. And if you want it to be always on without pressing it, you could take a piece of foil and go over that top leg and tape that down for the time that you want it all the way on. And then you can take it off when you want it off. And then you can also have it where it presses on and off. Thank you so much for joining us in this fun little gem LED gem project. We hope you had fun and we will see you soon for our other projects. Have a great one. Bye friends.